Vitamin D is now a hot topic the world over since the discovery of its many benefits. But as they say, too much of a good thing is good for nothing. In this video, we examine vitamin D side effects. During the early 20th century, health officials noticed an increasing number of skeletal abnormalities among children living in the industrialized cities of the Northern Hemisphere. This disease was rickets and was popularly called the English disease. It was known for centuries, but the cause of the disease remained a mystery. In 1919, a British biochemist by the name of Edward Melamby became concerned about the high incidence of rickets among the Scots. So he conducted experiments in which he fed dogs oatmeal, the staple diet of the Scots, and at the same time, he inadvertently kept them out of the sun. The dogs developed rickets. Later, Melambi discovered that he could cure the rickets with cod liver oil. The elusive vital amine had been found and was called vitamin D. From the 1930s to the 1950s, health authorities in the United States and the United Kingdom routinely fortified milk and other foods with vitamin D to stave off the onset of rickets. Then in the 1950s, several infants in the United Kingdom developed facial abnormalities, narrowing of the main artery of the heart known as supravalvular aortic stenosis, mental retardation, high levels of calcium in the blood with failure to thrive. Doctors concluded that this was the result of excessive intake of vitamin D and vitamin D fortification of milk in Great Britain was stopped. With the current discovery that vitamin D is important for the function and maintenance of several organ systems beyond the bony skeleton, such as the cardiovascular system, the immune system, and the skeletal muscular system, people have increased their intake of vitamin D supplements. And as vitamin D supplements become more readily available and more affordable, the incidence of inadvertent overconsumption of vitamin D supplements is expected to rise. Vitamin D toxicity is thought to arise when the blood level exceeds 150 nanograms per deciliter or 375 millimoles per liter. Vitamin D toxicity can result from moderate intake for extended periods or from excessively high doses taken in a short period. Most cases of vitamin D toxicity result from people overdosing on supplements or prescribed medications. In other cases, granulomatous conditions such as tuberculosis and sarcoidosis and certain types of cancer can produce high levels of active vitamin D leading to toxicity. There are also hereditary conditions that can cause vitamin D toxicity. Development of high blood levels of calcium from excessive intake of vitamin D requires prolonged intake of doses of vitamin D in the order of 40,000 international units daily for at least six months. The symptoms of vitamin D toxicity are mostly due to high levels of calcium in the blood and include psychiatric symptoms such as confusion, psychosis, stupor, and coma, gastrointestinal symptoms such as abdominal pain and vomiting, polydipsia, constipation and pancreatitis, cardiovascular symptoms such as hypertension, abnormal EKG and a slow heartbeat, and kidney symptoms such as the excessive excretion of calcium in the urine, dehydration, and kidney stones. Additional complications of vitamin D toxicity include deposits of calcium salts in the eye known as band keratopathy, hearing loss, painful deposits of calcium around the joints known as calcinosis. And in animal studies, it has been shown that vitamin D toxicity can lead to the deposits of calcium 
in the veins and the arteries. Vitamin D under select circumstances may cause several side effects. In one trial, vitamin D had no effect on non-vertebral fractures, but significantly increased the risk of hip fractures. In another trial, in which patients were treated with an annual dose of 500,000 international units of vitamin D, there was a significant increase in the risk of falls and fractures among women aged 70 and older. In both of these trials, patients were given high intermittent doses of vitamin D. Vitamin D in combination with calcium under select circumstances can increase the risk of kidney stones. In the seven-year Women's Health Initiative trial, treatment with 400 international units of vitamin D in combination with 1,000 milligrams of calcium resulted in a significant increase in kidney stones of 17%. The increased risk of kidney stones did not emerge until five years after the supplementation. Current recommended daily allowances, or RDAs, are 600 international units per day for persons aged 1 to 70 and 800 international units for those over 70 years. The maximum suggested daily requirements are 4,000 international units per day for persons over the age of 8. If you thought this video was useful, like and share with friends and family and support the channel by subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos come out. Thank you for watching.